Hey, welcome to the channel. As y'all can see, um, finally back. Um, I know I've been gone for a while, for a good long time, but I think, as y'all see, I'm going to start making videos again. Um, the reason why I've been gone for a while is because I've been busy as heck. I've been doing a lot of things. Um, I'm about to graduate. This is my last semester. Um, currently in um, summer two right now, getting ready for the last semester. Um, I just been having a lot going on, man. Um, in the organizations that I'm in, I'm taking on more responsibilities. Um, it's just a lot going on, man. School has been hectic, man. Like I've literally, I think last semester I took like probably like seven classes or something like that. So it's been it's been crazy. Um, just been a lot going on, but so I got that out the way. Let me just go ahead and get down to the nitty gritty. I may be asking like, why is fool coming back now all of a sudden? Like, why? Um, I'm coming back now simply because I was actually on the YouTube. Hold on, let me get my chair up. Recline. All right. So I was on YouTube, right? Sitting down, trying to kill time, and um. I really didn't know what to do. Um, I didn't really see anything to watch. Um, as some of y'all may know, um, I am into the tech, you know, computer engineering major. Um, and like I said, I'm about to graduate, so you know, I'm I'm about to hit the real world, I guess you could say, the workforce, and. I've been looking up like, you know, black men in tech on YouTube, stuff like that. And just overall black men that are excelling in life, vlogging their life in, the, you know, corporate America. And I couldn't find that, you know, um, I, I really couldn't find it on YouTube. So one of my boys told me, he said, man, how about you? Um, you make that. He was like, because typically the people that's in your field really, you know, might not feel comfortable showing their lives. You know, he was like, um, cause I told him, I was like, you know, I was like, I find some black men, but they'll upload probably one video and they'll be like, you know, going to work and then like the rest of the videos just be simply like explaining like how to get into tech or something like that. And it's like, none of them are showing their lives. And he was like, he was like, bro, why you don't do it? So I said that, I was like, man, I don't think my life is that interesting to be honest. He was like, your life might not be that interesting to you, but there's other people out there that's basically doing what I'm doing right now, looking for someone. He was like, your life may be interesting to someone else. So I was like, you know what? You may have a point. I thought about it. I thought about it. So here I go. Um. So for any of y'all that's, that's, that's tuning in, uh, just to give y'all a little quick rundown, um, this December, if everything go right, you know, if no classes get canceled, anything like that, I'll be graduating with my bachelor in science and computer engineering technology. Um, and I plan to go into the cybersecurity field to be exact, um, information security analyst. That's the route that I'm taking in aspirations of reaching a security engineering, senior security engineering position. So there you go. So, any y'all tuning in or anybody that's looking at maybe going into tech or anything like that or just waiting for, you know, someone to show their outside lives other than simply every day them coding or something like that, you know, I plan to give y'all, like I said, I ain't going to show y'all everything because I, like, I'm, I, 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 I personally feel like my life ain't that interesting to be honest, but I give a little, you know, something, something or whatever, but just me and the, me and the fellas hanging out, you know, stuff like that. Um, and just my life in general with the whole, you know, about to be approaching the job searching pro uh, process and stuff like that. So I will be giving y'all an inside look on that. So just buckle down and just get ready to, you know, to see how I do. I do have my camera, I have all the camera. And I got my camera, everything. As y'all know, I used to make videos, but just been fell off of that, man. You know, it's just been a lot going on. But... <clears throat> Just to fill y'all in what I've been up to since I didn't got that out the way. 
Um, besides school, like I said earlier, um, I've been actually um, strengthening, trying to strengthen my skills in, in, in Python because um, my brother is actually doing the same. He's going the same route. Um, we got a chance to talk to uh, a, a brother on you on Twitter named Tay on Tay. Some of y'all may know him. Um, and he told him, he said, um, you know, be- become proficient in Python. He was like, you know, even though, you know, you don't really use, you're not going to be coding heavy in the field that we're going into, but you will be. You still have to, you know, it'll always be a plus to code. And I also talked to a brother. He told me, he was like, man, you, you have your coding skills down packed. He, you reaching upwards of 120, 130, 140 a year with experience. So I was like, you know what? That's what I want to do. So I've been doing that. Um, once I leave that, um, I actually have a course on the cybersecurity. I have a whole, what is it, four-part course that I plan on taking um, before I start getting on my um, certifications. You know, the comps and all that, uh, Security Plus, um, all the, you know, going down that route of my certifications so that's really what I've been up to I actually just finished my resume and went over my resume with one of the, one of my brothers last night um so it's just, that's just the route that I've been going um me and the fellas we, we haven't hung out like this month this month just started but back in June yeah we, we was hitting up some um some bars and stuff like that Got some funny stories. Um, I may actually. Um, I don't know if I, I don't know if I want to throw it, throw it in this video or another video, but some funny stories. Um, like for example, we went to one night. We went out. I we didn't get home to like I know for sure I didn't get home to about four or something. Um, and uh. Just some funny stuff. We went to the waffle after the bar stuff. We went to the Waffle House. Waffle House was a party itself. Anybody that that that's I think Waffle House may be only in the South States, only down south. So I don't know up north if they have a Waffle House, but if you're down south, you know how Waffle House get down. It was a whole party. I wish I would have had a camera then. You had women twerking, it, it, singing, beating on tables. It was a whole whole scene. Um. Then another time we went to the bar, um, Brodrick was slumped. Like, this man was slumped. Like, it was funny because it's like, we had went to Whataburger. He's like, he was hungry. I was like, we go to Whataburger. I had to go pee. My stomach was hurt. We in the long, you know how Whataburger is, like at three in the morning, long line. Well, no, it wasn't three. Yeah, I think it was, it was probably about two, I want to say, at that time. I think it was about two. And you know how Whataburger is stupid long line. And, um, we pull up to Waterburger, Broderick slump. I'm driving, he slump. I'm like, yo, we up here at Waterburger. I'm like, damn, I gotta go pee. I low key was about to dip, you know, leave it, leave that Waterburger. And he was like, he woke up, he was like, damn, where we at? Went back to sleep. We finally make it to the um, drive through to take our order. I take my order. I look at him, this man is knocked out, slump. I'm like, yo, the man, the man, I, was, I told him I got two orders. So the man was like, okay, what's the second order? I'm like, yo, Broderick, wake up. Wake up, I'm tapping him. Wake up, I'm shaking him. He knocked out. He finally wake up. He's like, yeah, let me get a... Uh, I can't even remember what he ordered. I think it was like number one. We get to the window. It's a girl at the window. She, um... When she, uh, she opened up the thing, she was like, so y'all had a, uh... And I just looked at it. I was like... She looked, I guess she thought I was slumped too or something. Like, she thought I was gone. So she looked and she just like... I just gave her my card. Like, here, man. Boom. So she's like, oh, okay. You know how you're not girls there. So she took my card, paid or whatever. Then, uh, Brody gave her his card and all that stuff. But but before I had to wake Broderick up to get his car, I was like, yo, wake up. She's sitting there watching me. I'm shaking this man. His bucket hat, the bucket hat on. His bucket hat turned and was like hanging like like this way. So like it was funny. The bucket hat was slanted and everything like that. He was gone. When I tell you gone, he was gone. And um he finally woke up, gave her the car, or whatever. And then so I asked him, she me and her start chopping it up. We chopping it up while he knocked out. So we talking, you know, we chatting. And then um, when we gave our food, I was like, I was like, you been a long night for you? She was like, nah, it's just hot, you know. And I was like, she was like, you know, we're just having a, a friendly conversation, if you know what I mean. Um, and I, I guess she expected for me to go on with the conversation, but I had to go pee. So I just looked at it, I was like, yo, 
man, I got to go. I was like, yeah, I told Australia, I was like, we about to go. I was like, you have a nice night. She was like, y'all drive safe. Like, I guess she thought I was, I wasn't really, I wasn't gone. Brodrick was the one that was gone. Like, he was slumped, like, for real. But it's just some of the stuff like that. Um, I will be bringing Brodrick and uh, Joe and everybody. Whenever we hang out, stuff like that. If I have the camera on me, it's like that. I'll let y'all see. So, um, just a little, you know, letting everybody know what will go on or whatever. Um, and once again, like I said, I will be showing y'all the steps that I take to go into this tech field. Um, I, it's a possibility that I'm, I, I actually stay in um, Richmond right now, Richmond, Texas. I'm from Houston. Um, I might actually have to leave Houston area and maybe go to Dallas, San Antonio. Um, I don't really want to go to Austin. So my top two picks right now is Dallas and San Antonio um, from what I'm seeing on the job searching and stuff like that. But who knows? I don't plan on applying for those jobs until maybe around this time next year or into December of next year um, because I want to get my certifications now because the certifications can get me up to upwards close, if not at six figures. So I really want to make sure I'm proficient in my um, the route of tech, like I said, and information security analyst. I want to make sure I'm like proficient in that. I don't want to go into no job and you know job interview or even get, even get hired not knowing what I'm doing or not proficient as I want to be. I want to feel comfortable. Um, so I'm not gonna rush it. You know, I'm just gonna take it like it is and bring y'all along with me. You know, y'all may end up seeing me move to Dallas. Or may end up seeing me move to San Antonio. Y'all may see my brother coming on down after I moved down and he moved down a year or two years later. He may come on down. You know, it just. You never know. We might end up getting an apartment together out there or however it goes. But I think this might be a great idea. I think I'm actually prepared and men, um, mentally mature enough now for a YouTube. Um have a lot of things going for me. Um, it's just, I think this may be the time. I think this may be, I think I'm, I think I'm ready. I was a little bit young. I didn't have multiple YouTubes. I didn't came back, went away, came back, went away. It's, it's, it's been a lot. But I think I'm actually mentally mature enough now. I have enough things going for myself. I finally decided on the route that I wanted to take. Um, I mean, there may be a video in itself. I may record after this since it's on my mind right now. Um, you know, I'm just, I think I might be ready. I think I might be ready. So, um, hopefully... Y'all are along with this road with me. Um, this is vlog number one. Make sure y'all subscribe and just tune in. Let's see how things go. Hopefully everything go good and I keep everything right. Um, but it is what it is, man. Like I said, I, I feel like I'm mentally mature. Um, there's been times where I had a lot, a, a lot, lot going on. And I just wasn't there, I guess you could say or had a lot of distractions but I feel like the distractions are gone now <clears throat> I'm really just focused on myself my growth you know and becoming a better man each day so let's take y'all on that road with me let's get into this tech field get this tech money you know that's what I'm really excited about let's get this tech money let's change the thing let's show y'all like I said, it's not. It, I don't really see too many black men that show themselves working in corporate America on YouTube, at least for my search. You know, if y'all are any black men out there, comment, man. Um, I would like to pick y'all brains. You know, so make sure y'all subscribe. I'll be right back with another video. I think I might actually record the um, what made me decide to get into tech or something like that. You know. I think I might do that. I don't know. We'll see. But I'll see y'all.